Today I want to talk about the pros and cons of using a SCUF controller in Rocket League. I tell you a short story in the beginning. If you don't know already, I've been using a SCUF controller for almost two years and I just bought a new controller a few weeks ago. You may think, why did you buy a new controller if you already have one? Well, I used my controller for about two years and I probably didn't use it like a normal gamer. I used it a lot. And when I say a lot, I'm talking about thousands of hours of squeezing the gamepad and pressing the buttons as hard as I could. Because, you know, your car will go faster if you use more physical strength on your controller. Makes sense, right? From time to time, some buttons on my controller decided to break or not work properly anymore, which was a little depressing. I had to switch my ball cam to another button and basically reconfigure my muscle memory because of that. Apparently, I've had enough of a broken controller and I finally decided to buy a new one. I thought about buying a standard controller again, because a scuff controller is way more expensive in comparison. So I decided to contrast the advantages with the disadvantages. That's obviously the reason why I want to help you with your decision by sharing my experiences with scuff and standard controllers. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more awesome content. Now let's get right into it and welcome to this video my dudes. Let's start with the negative side of a scuff controller. As already mentioned, the scuff controller is very expensive compared to a standard controller. You can buy at least 3 standard controllers for the price of one scuff controller and that's crazy. And now think about when something breaks, like buttons on my controller did. Usually you don't want to buy a brand new controller right away. And that's where the support of scuff gaming comes in handy. First of all, each controller you purchase on scuffgaming.com comes with a 6 month warranty from the date your order is delivered to you. If your controller is not in warranty anymore, you have the possibility to send your controller to the scuff gaming support team in order for them to repair it. Of course you have to bear the expenses of the delivery and then you would have to decide if it's worth to repair your controller or not after they inspect it and tell you how much it would cost. Such a repair can be pretty expensive because they have to find the mistakes at first and then make a repair with new parts. In my case, it would have definitely been way too expensive to repair my controller and it would have taken ages due to COVID to get it back. And that's the next point, the delivery time. Due to COVID, it takes very long for your controller to get delivered to your place. Of course, it depends on where you live. It's probably faster if you live near a SCUF facility. It took about two weeks for my new controller to arrive though. Let's get to the positive side of a scuff controller now. Just look at a scuff controller. It is a piece of art created for high performance in competitive games like Rocket League. you have the possibility to design your controller how you like it. There are many ways to customize your controller in color and style. You can choose from a bunch of different faceplates, triggers, sticks and buttons. There are millions of combinations available to make your controller match your unique personal style. You can also change the d-pad to a control disc to make it easier to activate diagonals in fighting games. It's not necessary for Rocket League, but you can do it if you want to play fighting games with it too. Moreover, these customizations are handcrafted, configured and tested to ensure your scuff is built right. That's probably why it's so expensive. The most known feature of a scuff controller is probably the paddle control system. Thanks to that you can use more of your hand while keeping the thumbs on the sticks which is essential for competitive gamers. Additionally, you can equip your controller with SCUF's remapping technology to change your configuration based on the games you play or your personal playstyle. You can literally change any button you want. I changed the paddles of my SCUF to air roll right and air roll left for my half flips. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss the video about my controls on my SCUF controller in Rocket League. 
Then there's the highly recommended high performance grip which allows you to play longer without losing any comfort during a long gaming session. This is my favorite feature of a scuff controller because you won't lose grip even though you sweat like a waterfall. When you play with the controller for a long period, the sticks will wear out after some time. Scuff decided to make it easy to change sticks within seconds with its interchangeable thumbstick system. There are also many different side sticks to match your preference. Another advantage of a scuff controller are the trigger mechanisms. You can change the trigger stop to where you like, you can easily adjust the hair triggers and you can remove the trigger covers to fine tune your triggers movement and shape to save game changing milliseconds and improve accuracy. In my opinion, this is essential if you're planning to play Rocket League with your scuff controller. Every player is different and has different wants, needs and hand sizes. That's why scuff created different sizes of controllers. My first controller was a rather small controller called Scuff Infinity Pro. For my new controller I decided to do Scuff's questionnaire about personal preferences for your controller. This is the perfect tool to help you find the right controller for you. Due to this questionnaire I decided to buy a Scuff Impact and I can say it fits way better in my hand compared to a Scuff Infinity Pro. If you currently use an Xbox controller, Scuff also offers Xbox Scuff controllers called Prestige. To get even more comfort, you can remove the rumbles to reduce the weight of your controller and prevent hand strain. I think that's a cool feature because for most competitive games, these rumbles are unnecessary anyway and with that, your controller doesn't even have any rumbles and it's lighter. It's a win-win situation. You've probably seen some pro gamers use scuff controllers due to their high quality. Especially in Call of Duty, Scuff is very well known and there's a list of pros who use a Scuff controller on their website. But there's also a famous Rocket League player and YouTuber who trusts in Scuff. His name is Chaser. He has used Scuff controllers for a long time and he also partnered with Scuff Gaming. The last point I want to share is the possibility to upgrade your controller anytime. You can use the repair form to send your controller to Scuff and let them upgrade your controller to match your personal needs. Of course, it would take some time and cost some money, but if there's something you really want to change, you have the opportunity to upgrade your controller. Overall, a scuff controller surely has more advantages than disadvantages, but one disadvantage has to be weighted more than others and that's the price. I'd recommend buying a scuff controller if you're a very competitive player and kind of a perfectionist. If you take care of a scuff controller, you can still use it after years of intense playing. But if you're a person who needs a new controller every month because you smash it against the wall or something, then it's probably not the best idea to buy such a high price controller. If you're thinking about buying a scuff controller, make sure to check out scuff's questionnaire first to find the best controller for your preferences. I'll also upload a separate video to my current settings on my scuff controller for Rocket League soon so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss a video. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to mention this video in your order if you buy a scuff controller on scuffgaming.com, maybe I'll get my own discount code, who knows. See you in the next one, peace out.